Castle. Feels like I've never been away. Hard work in the streets all the army for a bottle of brown, brown ale. ale. I'm coming home. I'm back, baby. In Big L. Testimonial. I, I am moving to Manchester, boys. Twat. Girls. Thank you, Renty. <laughs> um, a few other, other career. Um, I'll miss the tune a lot, but I'll follow Renty and support him all the way, as usual. And I might be back. For a few episodes, and we've got Arsenal away coming up, which should be uh, very, very fun. Um, but yeah, let's crack on. All right, crack on. There'll be a new member of the Magpie channel, we need a new cameraman, there'll be new appearance on the podcast. You know, Shira might be coming along. Probably oh. not, but one day, you never know. Probably. But I, uh, so Big not, things. things aren't stopping yet. The Magpie the only on the way up, as you can see. Huge thanks to the strawberry. Sort of out with a nice indoor venue here upstairs. Keep him ready, the usual. Nice. Um, Freeze your tits off outside now in pitch black, so keep him really nice and warm back from his holidays. So it was 40 degrees, Aye, back came freezing back from two. Thailand, 40 degrees now, it's fucking one degree. He needs acclimatise still. Uh, man's not hot, <laughs> <laughs> but aye, uh, right, enough for the idiot abroad. What about last night? The tune have stopped the rot, just just though, Renty. It was well, a 20, well, half an hour ago, looked like that was it. It was a very nervy game. I think two games in the past would have definitely thrown it away, oh, without right. a doubt. Right. I think it's what Raf, uh, echoed what Rafa said in the week. <coughs> we might not have the players in terms of their... Crazy old press conference, that one, he was going off Oh, he's kind of wild. Proper wild. I think that just shows you how much pressure he's oh, under. How he was now, though. Like, exactly, yeah. Like, some of the play, like, he's getting a lot of stick from the fans. But I think it's just good to see someone that just comes out of fights. We've seen it in the past, Pardew. Yes, Other man. managers, you just be like, yeah, like, still my best player, but yeah. Yeah, I'm not going I think it's, it's good to see. The man's passionate about the club, I obviously. Sure he cares. And he just put his point across that we couldn't afford the players that even the likes of Burnley and that have been able to afford. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, that's why everyone's you know, hammering Hostler every week, rightfully so, but he was only £5 million, that's his role. When the likes of Burnley are, are even putting in 15 like million, Chris, 20 million Chris in that, you know? yeah. So, but even then, like, you fi- see where he's come from. 15 million only gets you some that's an average championship striker. Like, you just like, yeah. break heel on you, really. Exactly, pretty much. So, we bought a 5 million pound player who's in the Premier League and Josh Lou put on a class pre season and fooled us all. <laughs> 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 we fell hoop, line, and sinker for that one. <laughs> We've seen it many times with free agents. Players that are ruined Benny around, so oh, he bagged a hat trick. And he was scoring goals for fun pre season. And then he. And then he even looked alright the first couple of games, yeah? He did. He did look alright, but. He's just, total confidence, but I can see that he's fucking shot shy at the minute. And he's, oh, definitely. He's jaws on the floor before he's even. Touch the ball, he's coming out with St. James's and he just looks a shadow of a man, he? absolute shadow of a man. He's a shadow of a striker and Al, isn't he? Oh, my. Fucking yeah. hell, man. Is he really a fucking footballer, that lad? I think we see worse, mate, at this club. I mean, but it's like me pretend to be like a, a surfer. Like if someone was taking a surf lesson and I went out to show them what to do, they'd be like, don't really know what you're doing, do you? <laughs> and it seems like it's the same hostel, like guns on the pitch, the ball comes in the box, he's miss hitting, he's tackling himself, you think to yourself, don't really know what you're doing, Nathan. Just go. You can't score goals. <laughs> you can't pass the ball. You can't do nout. He's like that. Uh, that player played for Southampton back in the day. The guy that pretended to be a footballer. <laughs> Aye, what was he? Oh, oh, what was that again? Forgot his name. But he graduated from Newcastle. You, uh, Aye, because we all had that chant. We had that chant about him, didn't we? On the uh, bus. Oh, what was it again? But yeah, it's exactly like that. He's just pretending to be a striker and oh, a footballer for that matter. I can't remember his name. However, the rut has stopped, and I think we are missing a few key players. The cells is huge in that team. The cells is massive, and uh, even Marino as well. Obviously, came back in. He was he was class again last night. And it's just yeah. that middle of the park where he wants to obviously Shelby got dropped. Yeah, that was a bit of a shock, but I think Rafa's not afraid to drop his. I think it worked. Best he seemed to come on a bit more of this when he came on, didn't he? Like exactly, I think that. When he guaranteed, it's, he's probably hoping the same as going to happen with Perez because he was guaranteed to be playing every week. Now he's been dropped, he's come oh, back in. Perez, Perez again, man. Dog shit again, but. That million pound we spent on him all those years ago looks like, everyone said it was a bargain, but it looks like it was about right. <laughs> he is a million pound player. 
there's Aye. no doubt about it he's what he brings to the team is very very questionable such, for me just because the number 10 is such an important role he just doesn't do enough for it exactly but you we, need someone in there who's going to feed the striker and get it that way and he's just not doing it we just don't have that number 10 but we're playing with a system that needs to create a number 10 no, and sure. we don't have him no so really Rafa should stick with you up top which he did do then he went back to it last night because we haven't got the players for the two up top either unless you're maybe going to play Mitro but Hosler and Gale that just doesn't work either no Hosler and Gale doesn't work I think Mitro and Gale might work a bit more but with Mitrovic, he's always hit and miss. His work rate. But he is has there. came on in the last ten minutes and done more and been more of a presence and a threat than Hostler in the last ten games. Definitely, but I think I don't know how Rafa can't see that. I think there has to be something with Mitro that fell out or Rafa. Shaggy's just, wife. <laughs> aye. Rafa thinks Mitro can't do it for ninety minutes, which might be can't because when was the last time he actually played ninety minutes of football? Well, I but he's not going to be able to get a chance. Exactly, but <laughs> that's the thing, weren't he? It's not. Not a case of, uh, like when did he? It's like, how can he? How can you prove that you play? You can't. Got to start against Chelsea. You've got to got him on. Even like I say, if you put Mitro in the number ten behind Gale instead of Perez, you oh, see exactly. bully people about a bit. Bully people about. He's coming deep as well against uh, Watford and doing well to get the ball. Aye, aye. That Watford game, oh dear me. No, no. It's been shocking when went. I see enough. I see enough for that. Half eleven at night in Thailand. That was. Went and was away, and the two were playing, and I uh, just sat at home, just like, where's Manny? <laughs> <laughs> Getting Snapchats up from, from Thailand, watching it, and it was just a shutting game. Absolutely. I don't know how he just didn't get out of sleep. I know. We had a few chance, so it was a, oh, you know, yeah. It felt a lot worse than the next day. Uh, and and I was watching the highlights again, I was like, oh, I remember that now. The thing as well with that game, obviously going back that long because we haven't really covered it, but being 3 nil down then making changes well making the changes what 15 minutes ago so the changes should have given half time oh wait Rafa what's, what's that going to do and you that's why in a, in a way he was like rightfully getting the stick because of the Sozo too late yeah and because the starting lineup was very questionable like why is the army getting picked man oh, he should have been long gone yeah but I was glad to see Manquillo out and Mbemba back in last oh, night oh like. definitely I, I'm a big fan of Chancel I think he's I prefer him at centre back but he does an no alright job at left back and he could probably do a better job in midfield <coughs> than Jack Holback who was pretty much dead well I would have rather played a member in midfield than played the army midfield at least Andy against what I like yeah he plays there for his country he's played there for Congo so I would have him in the defensive midfield rule oh definitely let Shelby let Shelby roam about we'll see what happens next against Chelsea which you know that's typical to go in there and get something in it and then we'll play the next game against Leicester if we get beat. You know, the game is expected to pick up points, we don't. And Predictably we make goals enough, say, you never know. Chelsea will play in the night, a bit more tired than us the next day, and oh, we'll cling on to them, all these little oh, cliches. Fingers. Little cliches. Uh, little, uh, well, now the, the, the lads will be a bit more like the tails up now, and after a good end of the game last night and a good reception from the away fans there. Uh, True. Better than what they would have been heading in after the fucking. But there wasn't that game, they were heading into Chelsea after Watch Like, fucking hell. Yeah, I. but uh, I think one of the main things is how you were saying ourselves was missing. I we alluded to the fact ages ago, and yeah, at the start of the season when everyone was getting a bit carried away about how we kind of keep on relying on centre back scoring goals. Oh, and exactly. we're saying how big Lascelles is. Huge, and he's been obviously been a huge miss because at the time, early in the season, he was scraping the wins from both ends. He was scoring the goals against Swansea. Saving that goal against Swansea, pretty much. And he was keeping the clean sheets, and then obviously even like Marino against Palace, he scraped one nils. And you couldn't keep that up because, and you could tell because we haven't got enough going forward. Aye, and and that's where we've came stuck in the last four games. We got beaten. Aye, and the defenders scoring again last night. That's what I mean. Aye. How many more teams are going to well, do it? Well, Clark and uh, De Yedlin scoring on Saturday. Aye, fucking <laughs> Yedlin again last night. Injury time again last night. Three games in a row in the last fucking minute. Injury time at uh, half time. Unbelievable, man. It's shocking that. But to be fair, Yedlin kind of. Can't see what he's doing, man. That fucking trench on his head. Yeah. Can he see? Can it see? He's having a he's having a bit of a mare going back back by a second, but the whole defence is it doesn't look like Clark and the jeans really click in. No, definitely not. We're just really, really honest in the start. I was like Definitely, I think Lejeune there was a bit of hype about him, but he hasn't really <coughs> delivered. But I think you've got to give him time to settle in. Got to give him time, I, I think like the cells to... the cells didn't settle in until about the March, wasn't it? Well, you weren't even finding up giving games, are you? Yeah. I but I, 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 I
Oh, it's yeah. just adapting to the pace, I think. And like Lejeune. once he gets games when he's built, I think he will come good. Like all right, I'll collect see Lejeune and Sells, and then play Sane left back. That's what I want to see. Yeah, I'll for the meantime until January play Kieran Clark left back. Ah, left I think right. um, I think we'll do all right there. Nah, I'll, I'll, nah, it's the clock there. Even like you see them, Ben must be right there. Yeah, that's true. But um, oh, you know, like the, we're seeing about the defence man. Like last night, how many times are people going to get free headers? And so much space in the box, game after game now. Like what fun there? It's like them drills. It was just one diagonal across, one cross at the box, finish. It was like a training drill without the defenders. Yeah. And the defenders have, and then the defenders get put in afterwards. But the oh, defenders yeah. are obviously already there, but just not doing it. Just ball watching again. I know you can't. You and can't it's worrying and it's strange and a rougher because obviously you were expecting hard to beat earlier on the season. And, and now uh, it's yeah, fell away. You expect the Rafa Benitez team to be very, very organised, very disciplined and know what they're doing especially with set pieces because we've seen this season how many times set pieces have won us the game especially with like you learned to earlier the cells as headers and that and how it can can win matches and they are important and Newcastle in the previous years were crap at set pieces oh I would never used to be the first man never, never used to be the first man ever I'm sure I went through a three year drive uh, patch I without and scored from a corner, corner. Pardew went. Speaking of Mr. Alan Pardew, <laughs> what would you well, want that, right. <clears throat> Welcome back to the Premier League. Oh, the, the tag team champions are back, baby. Woo! John fucking Carver has got another job, not pushing trolleys and Asda, actually in the Premier League, because he is, everyone remember, the best the. coach in the Premier League ever. Because he wears Sir Bobby Robson's tie. Aye. <laughs> 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 Unbelievable man like I hold up his bit of paper there. I only see the about won the travel in twenty fourteen, best man in the Premier League. Oh, FIFA aye. fourteen. FIFA fourteen, amateur level, John Carver. Another job, another salary, Premier League. What the fuck? How many years ago is it since he left the team? Well twenty fifteen left on it. No. Three years he's been sat at home playing FIFA. Messaging Pardew, asking what he's doing. Alan, please, I need Alan, a job, please. man. There's <laughs> only so much top gear I can watch, Alan. <laughs> There's only so much golf I can play, Alan. 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 <laughs> I'm um, going to die soon, Alan. I need another job. Uh, the kids are starving. <laughs> I've spent all the money on fucking Jack Daniels. <laughs> ice left us. <laughs> Driving around a little class. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's back in the middle and he'll be raining in again oh I'll tell you what like, I, them two obviously have the gift of the gab like oh absolute my. gobshites because like, they're saying like they're oh, worse gobshites than me and you and that's saying something exactly <laughs> big rent these repairs so hopefully we can get <laughs> big rent bouncy repairs coming next summer again uh, big big rent shutter repairs of, of tonight because <laughs> they couldn't fix a shutter at work but um <laughs> Like, like we're saying, man, like, they were saying he was the immense favourite, like, clear favourite, like, overall, doing in interviews. I'd love to know what he says in interviews or how he does it, like, because why would you sat, like, Tony Pulis is, like, one of them men you turn to when you're in trouble to get you out of trouble, and obviously they're, they're in trouble now. Oh, definitely. And to get rid of him to get Pardew. And Pardew always has this thing when he comes into clubs where well, give him he has an instant, in, instant impact, he, he looks good for, like, the first ten games, because he must be, like, Dead Pally or something, I don't know. I must like no like four or five good training drills and then that's <laughs> it. And then that's it done forever. Oh aye. And then after that he's gone. I think so the, I think they'll I think they'll probably kick on and they'll have a good start. Which a, most people do anyway when they're putting your manager. You it. It. One last weekend for the first oh, time since fucking two thousand nine. Chris Coleman of all people. But he'll have a good start and it'll fade away and they'll probably be back in the scrap again come like February, March. Uh, I think Pardew's quite good for eighteen months. See what he did at Newcastle for eighteen months. See what he did at Palace for eighteen months. He'll have a good, good spell, but it will drift off soon. There are West Brom fans, and especially with John Carver there as well. Obviously, you have got the greatest Premier League coach in the world. Uh, so congratulations to you. Hi, well done, well done. The well dear Hawthorns. Uh, yes. <laughs> good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Another. Well, the boys are back in town. Obviously, Moisey's back in West Ham. Moisey's back. back at Palace. Big Sam for Everton. Fat tits, fat Sam's back at the Toffees. How are English football going to move forward in the next year? Bring back the boys! It's the English players, but there's loads of shite English managers. <laughs> yeah. But to be but fair, though, no, I reckon Big Sam will do a good job there. I mean, like, 
he'll obviously undoubtedly keep them up as he does oh I you'll just toss off Wayne Rooney or get a few grannies but, to come uh, in and help if out they, if they obviously get that number 9 in but even without it I think he'll do a good job there me like I think I uh, the T's haven't been crossed and the I's haven't been dotted so to speak but he is rumoured no he has signed it like oh has he done it today I just thought that was a go oh sorry that work big L's been at work I six million yeah man what I Unbelievable, Jesus. he's got been confirmed on the same day as obviously Paul Jones. Oh, That's why you might not hear it because obviously John Cover stay in the line. Uh, exactly, aye, aye, the best best coach in the Premier League. He's aye. back in the Premier League after his spell back, at the back back in the Cyprus Premier League. Aye, for a bit, didn't he? Aye, he was yeah, in Thailand with a full football pitch. Aye, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> FC Pangy. Yeah, you had a jet ski, didn't he? Aye, just on the pitch. Aye, ball boy. Ball boy. Aye. Diving in and out, honey. Aye, aye. <laughs> Speedo's on his big beer belly. <laughs> 50 PBS, man, full of Chang. Oh, I follow Chang. Ah, oh, I love his Got absolutely Changed. <laughs> aye. <laughs> That's the managerial merry go around like. But I think we've caught, we're going to repeat about how good Marino was and that'll win 47% of the game is under him. But yeah, we've covered that. Yeah. We need Marino to stay fit. We need Lascelles back. And everyone needs to keep the faith like Rafa says. Exactly. Keep the faith. True faith. And now, but um, yeah, I think it was a good little rally call by Rafa because I think a few fans were jumping the <coughs> boat and he looked at them Twitter and there's a bunch of fucking virgins kicking off. <laughs> <sighs> That's it, though. You can't, we sh- we can't get carried away at the start of the season when we're doing well, better than expected, and you kind of get two down now and we've lost a few in a row because it's a Premier League and that's what's going to happen, yeah. especially when we used to go to Championship side. Yeah, definitely. You've seen the players we added as well, and some of them wasn't uh, any real. Standout players. Nah, but obviously like, Marino's the only one, and he really. Marino's the only one, but when he came in, he everyone was like, "Who the fuck was Aye. he?" He well, he could have fell into the Hoslow bracket where he was just a bargain buy. Really, on it. What? He wasn't getting picked yeah. for his club. But it wasn't he's even a young, buy. He's a young player. Like, he was alone. I was <laughs> thankfully turned into. Thank, thankfully, only before someone else fucking well, probably just look at next summer, but it'd be a big idea for Ashley. Or hopefully not. Hopefully oh, he Amanda. 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 Save me, save me, save me. <laughs> oh, wait, Amanda. It's time you took our last time we got to new players in. Uh, January is looming. January is a Christmas sale Sports Direct, including Newcastle United. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley wants his money for Christmas. It's going to drag out, isn't it? Because obviously Amanda wants the uh, relegation clause, and that's only going to get even worse after the fucking run we've been on. What is the clause, though? What do you want in it? If it I, if think, get... I think if they get relegated, then they must like get some money back or something. I don't know. Or they just. Half price, three percent off. Ah, uh, good job. Uh, Ashley should do because obviously they're splitting it per year anyway. They're not buying uh, enough, or they're going to buy it over a, a few years. Yeah, so they'd probably be like, well, next year you're not going to get as much of a relegated or something. Like that. Ashley should have done it as like buying Newcastle United for fifty million, uh, five hundred million, sorry. Then you'll just go, mm, I'll knock a bit off. That's a bargain. That like Black Friday. <laughs> oh, that camera's a hundred pound on Black Friday. Oh, it's one hundred twenty-five pound down from two hundred. Fucking bargain! That's <laughs> it. Exactly. <laughs> everyone queuing up by plasma tellies. Uh, instead of putting it in three fifty, like what you see is about five hundred. Five hundred was oh. was six twenty. Uh, so yeah. Grabs another bargain. Bargain. Uh, Black Friday get extended. Some, get some free um, Slazenger socks. Slazenger tennis racket. Clean up your arsehole. <laughs> Slazenger socks as worn by uh, Tyson Fury. <laughs> Gypsy King one hundred one. Bah. <laughs> I probably will have Tyson Fury front than Hosley. Oh, I definitely. Mm. I think he's just got more about him. Aye. And I think he'll just come out uh, fighting when he's a nice man. Mm. Uh, don't say anything bad because I'm moving to Manchester and he's probably knocking around those parts. Aye. Big fan. Love you, Tyson. Big fan of Tyson Fury and that as well. Yeah, so. oh, yeah, I'd like to follow us, Tyson. Um, Gypsy King 101. Might be one of the podcast guests of uh, the new lad can't make him on week or something. Could I'll be, give aye, Tyson aye. a ring and see you. Coming out the strawberry, I'll feed you brown ale. And- oh, I definitely. Brown ale. Bit of bubble, you like the bo- get the box of bubble in. Get the box of bubble in from me, Vandal. Mm-hmm. Likes the bubble, does a. Does it? Eh? Oh, he does a uh, Tyson. <laughs> Tyson, <laughs> Tyson definitely likes the bubble. Who has the cunt up? Oh, uh, uh, Tyson Henry <laughs> Fury. <laughs> <laughs> Henry's not his real name. It's because it's a brand of Hoovers. <laughs> but, uh, well, Premier League review. A few of the results, uh, maybe. Oh, no, no, no. The, the fixtures tonight. 
There is. Obviously Spurs getting beat last night. We at Leicester, Molly Morris, Screamers. Unfortunately, just couldn't put the pressure on. Right, but the flop now already. The flop went earlier than the normally flop. Flop de flop flop. Flop flop. Le flop de flop. Right. Joey Tribbiani down there in there. Wait, hold on. Oh my god. But <laughs> Evan Manu, not Evan Manu. What for Manu was a class game. It was, but unfortunately Jose Mourinho was very disappointed with the result because they won 4-2. Aye. And Lukaku is wearing black boots and that's why he hasn't scored he just exactly. needs, a new, needs a new boot deal. I, I, think, I think it's ever since he stopped singing about his cock. Aye. Well, that's what PC is. Yeah, PC is ruining this country and it's ruining my night. Exactly, it is. Lukaku, everyone singing about my cock, strolling around, big band lad. Give it the big end, Stormzy. 60,000 people. Shout me name, I've got Storms as his best mate, <laughs> singing about me cock. <laughs> they can't sing that anymore. And now he's scared about the size of his cock because he's, he's not getting reassured that it's massive anymore. Right, the reaction has gone down. Aye. Flop de flop flop. Flop de flop. Floop de floop. But uh, Ashley Young, acting like it's 2007. Ashley <laughs> Young's back, John Carver's back, I don't know what fucking year it is. I've been on holiday for a few weeks. Throwback Thursday with time capsule 10 years ago. Ah. <laughs> She's Brexit, man. Aye. <laughs> That's what it is, isn't it? <laughs> Brexit means bourbon, you know what I mean? Brexit means breakfast as well. Aye. Don't you know? Fucking <laughs> 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 oh, What else has happened lately? Oh. I've been away, mate, I don't know. In the Premier League. Ah. <laughs> Football. <laughs> so, well, there's. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Hills might see you soon. Might see you soon. Months. Definitely. Well, definitely see Arsenal. Oh, yeah, yeah. Arsenal away. Oh, yeah, yeah. Arsenal away. A couple weeks. A few fun, weeks' fun, time, innit? Two weeks. Meet the guys. That, that should oh. be class crap. Really looking forward to that, like. Oh, definitely. A nice first away day we've done. Yes, it is. Obviously, due to financial restrictions of me travelling around Asia for a few weeks, I couldn't buy any tickets. And not just that, it's really hard to get hands on tickets because two pounds are that good. Exactly. They sell out all the time. But we managed to get a couple of pairs of tickets for the Arsenal awesome game. Trains booked. Absolutely nice, nice buzzing. train times as well. Early but start. We're going to be absolutely high in because we're at the oh, Bama night Bama before. The night before. Night. It's big, big weekend for the Magpie Channel. Big so, weekend uh, for the Magpie Channel. So we look forward to that. But uh, I am to Chelsea for next week. Then it'll be a, a podcast next next week going over that result, which obviously Billy won't be involved in. But then, so farewell, Billy son. Sorry, son. Right. Thanks for the journey, son. Right. We're repping the official uh, base right. base, yeah. That's from Thailand. From Thailand, when I'm getting the UK suppliers in a couple weeks' time and they'll be on sale. And more t shirts as well. Yeah, t shirts and caps. I will probably look better as well because in Asia, they just didn't quite know how to do the blue sea. They didn't know how to do the magpie blue. on top. But <laughs> it's black and white in Asia. Aye. But uh, are we here? Damn good quality. Are we here? It's going to cost us more. But, uh, better quality. Better quality. Feel the quality. Feel the vibes. <laughs> right, everyone. Peace out. Adios. See you soon. In? One last time. Enjoy, Enjoy yourselves! yourselves!